another day another problem so let's solve it hello beautiful people i hope you are all doing well the last time i posted a solution to this problem the sound was so bad so i decided to re-upload it with a better sound and better explanation so enjoy so in this video i will show you how to solve the problem add two numbers let's get started by reading the problem after that start solving it so we are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers the digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contain a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. After reading the problem, we can get the information we need to solve the problem from the details given in the problem description. The first thing is that we can have two non-empty linked lists or the linked list is representing non-negative integers. The last piece of information is the most important thing. The digits are stored in reverse order. So we can use this last piece of information to our advantage because it can help us work with the carry that we need when adding two integers together. So to solve this problem, we need to set up three variables. The first will hold the carry over from from step to step. The second will be a liquid list that represents the final result. And the third will be our pointer that we will use to move to the next node at each iteration. So since both variables share the same object reference and pointer updates immediately affect outcome, you may need to remember how Python handle share the references. And after that, we'll iterate throughout the first and second linked list until there are no more nodes and no more units to carry over. Then we must get the digits from each node because we must additionally handle scenarios when the node's value is not as the linked list may have different sizes or even reach the end of both lists but still carry over a unit. After then we sum up the two numbers plus the carry. Then we need to calculate the next digit of the solution by taking the modulo between the sum and number 10. For example, if we have 17, we will take the number 7. So, and the one gonna be the curry. So, we'll update the curry by performing a floor division between the sum and the number 10. Then we save the result to the pointer, which will also update the result as these two variables are sharing the same object and shift the pointer to the next node. And we update the two linked list to start at the next node or if there is no node uh, in the next we just give it the non values finally we return the result next because at the start we initialize the linked list with a dummy node that's equal to zero So for the time complexity is going to be of max m and n where m is the linked list one and n is the second linked list and we iterate throughout the one that has more node for the space complexity it's going to be also of max m and n because we are storing our result in a new linked list which is considered an auxiliary data structure thanks for watching see you in the next video